What is considered mild autism? After you receive an autism diagnosis for yourself or your child, the next logical step is to wonder about the severity of the disorder. Autism is called a spectrum for a good reason. Symptoms can range dramatically from very mild to very severe. It can help to understand how mild autism is different from more severe forms of the disorder. Autism is defined and diagnosed based on several important criteria. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, a person who receives this diagnosis typically displays impairments in three major areas social interactions, communications, and behaviors. These challenges manifest themselves differently depending on whether the individual has severe, moderate, or mild autism. Social skills and high-functioning autism. Caregivers often note that a person with autism may appear to be in his or her own world. In high-functioning autism, these social symptoms can be a bit obvious than they are in more severe cases. While a person with severe autism might make no eye contact at all, a person with mild autism may have a fleeting eye gaze. This means that he or she might look you in the eye for just a moment or two at a time. In classic autism, the affected person may seem to take no notice of other people. However, people with mild autism often seek out social interactions, even if they may not know how to connect with other people in traditional ways or at their developmental level. Gestures can be difficult for people with any level of autism. In severe cases, gestures may be completely absent. Communication skills and mild autism. Communication challenges can be one of the most difficult aspects of living with autism. These challenges vary dramatically based on the severity of the disorder. In severe autism, a person may be completely nonverbal or communicate only through sign languages or a communication board. In mild autism, individuals may have normal or even advanced language skills. They may simply have difficulty using language in a functional way to get what they want. Classically, autistic individuals struggle with novel language. Instead, relying on echolalia, the repetition of words or phrases, while children with high-functioning autism often go through a stage in which they use echolalia. They usually grow out of this and begin to form original sentences. Thank you for watching the video.